welcome back to my little channel today i wanted to talk to you about netflix everyone loves netflix do netflix and chill especially now that we're all stuck at home because of some bug um yeah i, I don't really like netflix their double standards are annoying to me now they're not as bad as one would expect and trust me you will find some crappy shows on netflix but on average they're not as terrible as you would think but i have to talk about this anyway because there was a show there is this show called traveler and it's not really a bad show it's it's science fiction obviously it's it's not that bad i would advise you if you want to watch it go watch it it's not overly filled with nonsense well, obviously it, it has this huge scare of the environment is coming to an end but the cause of it is vastly different than the normal story and you don't really get i mean it's the backstory of of, of the traveler but you don't get it a lot in the episodes but every once in a while they have to make a dig about the current world i mean there's an episode that would pretty much fit the whole corona story oh it's so deadly oh there's a new disease oh it's a developed disease oh it's a created disease. oh it's so deadly it's so deadly oh it's so deadly but um yeah they they obviously make uh, a vaccine and that vaccine helps everyone now in the series loads and loads and loads of people die um, those of you who keep track in the real world the beer bug isn't nearly as deadly as the flu is now i know people will then say oh you don't take the the beer bug serious and i'm like no you don't take the flu serious because every year lots of people die because of the flu and you know what we are vaccinated against the bloody flu and still it kills lots of people i wouldn't be surprised if the beer bug kills more people than the flu this year because there is no vaccine but the way it's looking it won't even reach the same numbers as the flu does every single year with vaccines i'm sorry sidetracked not gonna go there so this is the clip i want to show you if the sound isn't perfect there is a reason because i don't want netflix obviously to say boom copy strike <sighs> anyway you understand i hope you enjoy the clip and after the clip we'll talk on okay what's what's the big deal well they're talking about the future president of america apparently the girl is the future president of america she's the 53rd president and then one of the main characters is saying well no obviously that can't be true because the president obviously is some white guy now why do i find that well bo mostly annoying don't get me wrong but why do i also find it funny well because netflix has several shows about barack obama who was the president of the united states before donald trump obviously so is barack obama a white guy or are we saying that well i mean he's, he's a fluke but he'll be the last non-white guy president or is it a dig that women can't be president because you know the thing is i i don't seem to think that there actually is a problem with women if we look at the current election cycle um there was this female uh, that was rather popular i forgot her name obviously um from hawaii uh yeah i mean she had somewhat of uh, uh, among the youth a positive vibe and among the republicans i mean there were republicans who would not vote for her because of trump because trump is doing a great job but had she run 
against anyone else, then uh, there's a good chance she might actually do more. Not Kamala Harris. I know that's a woman too, but yeah, that woman is the epitome of sleeping to the top. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about that, but then again, you can look it up yourself. No, but how sick is it that the same broadcaster that brought you several shows, movies, documentaries, whatever, about Barack Obama is telling you in a dig in one of its many shows, well, yeah, but presidents are always some old white guy. Must be coincidence, right? I mean, it's only gaslighting if the right does it. Now, like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Criticism, as always, is more than welcome. And I hope to see you all next time.